Okay, so after the events of the Singapore and the Japanese Grand Prix, both pretty uh, embarrassing performances from the FIA, I started wondering, does the F1 game have the two hour rule limit? You know what, that was really bad, but I am just gonna run with it. I'm gonna run with that take. Because Code Masters games famously have uh, very little in them and not much care or accuracy goes into the F1 side of things, ironically. So I thought instead of going the easy route and just googling it, I thought I'd make myself suffer by doing a two hour race in the rain at Singapore. Just to find out if it ends at two hours or I just end up driving for four. So you could take the easy route like I fifth safety car I think and uh, I was just so you could take the easy route like I failed to do and just skip to the end of this video and find out the answer or you can sit with me and suffer as well I will clarify I am on no traction and no ABS I just have the racing light on so there will be a lot of spinning in this video because I'm I'm not very good Exhibit A. So this is basically going to be a highlight reel of my overtakes while I just sort of waffle for however long the video goes on for. Yeah, I thought I'd start from the back just to give me some entertainment and basically my goal is to delay everyone as much as possible which means causing safety guard deliberately, hopefully getting to the front and just going as slow as humanly possible. Basically just being a Latifi. I did start driving normally at the start and actually going for decent overtakes. Uh, some more audacious and dramatic than others but uh, I do get bored and attempt corner cuts like that just to see what I could get away with. I forgot I actually left corner cutting on uh, despite there being no other penalties so uh, you know I, I just got bored and sort of just like so sort of had, had a look at what I could get away with basically. It got to lap 15 and I was getting a bit concerned it was getting to quarter distance and there was yet to be any safety cars so I had to intervene so we do a Latifi, and after an Austin Powers impression, we do get the safety car out for the first time. And despite the challenge at hand, to assist my sanity, I did put uh, the safety car to automatic, just to save me a little bit of time, otherwise I probably would have killed someone. So on the restart, I was actually having a pretty decent fight with uh, Russell, and you'll, you'll quickly see the, the level of things I can get away with on reduced corner cutting. You know, we try and outbreak him on the outside and just drive clean off the circuit and overtake him. We then go for an audacious dive on science at our favourite corner it seems and we get the move done. Until about half a lap later going through the third sector and I don't really know what happened I just completely malfunctioned. Obviously not scaring science enough we go for an even more audacious dive and hopefully scare him off track even more. I'm taking that as mockery from my engineer there. A little while later, I think it's time for another safety car since the AI just really wasn't crashing that much. So we perfectly park it at the finish section of the track. Also, this isn't edited at all. This is genuinely the speed that my pit crew came out when I came into the pit. Shane couldn't carry that speed into my actual pit stop. On the second restart, we somehow find ourselves battling Nicholas Latifi. Not only that, but under threat from him. Coming into turn one, in heavy rain, I decide I don't want anything to do with that, so just drive straight on. By this point, I'd gone through a lot of flashbacks and I was getting a bit bored so as I was going for uh, even more outrageous overtakes, for example, the one on Ricardo, and there's another, even more disgusting dive bomb coming on Vettel now. Basically cutting the corner, but we get the move nonetheless. And nothing demonstrates my boredom more than my overtake on Alonso. I was genuinely getting a bit nervous that there was a limit on the amount of safety guards that could come out, which is a stupid rule and programming, but it's Codemasters, so you never know. So we go to plan B of just brake checking random drivers, and unfortunately, Russell was our first victim. But on the plus side, we caused a safety car. And it was on the, uh, the third restart that I had a revelation. A revelation so strong that I had to actually pause and take a moment. By this point, I spent about probably 15 laps sat in the traffic behind the safety car. And uh, I realised with quarter cutting only being the only rule, I didn't need to sit behind anyone. I could just overtake everyone, which I only just realised 45 laps in. And being only around 15 laps left, I knew I had to just continuously take people out and cause as many safety cars as possible. So Hamilton was our next victim. Apparently I just don't like Mercedes. So on this restart we finally do what we probably should have done on the first restart. And we're going to overtake Verstappen and take the lead of the race. And now we can stall people for as long as humanly possible. 
and pray that the uh, two hour rule is actually a thing. So now my next goal was to take someone else out, cause another safety car, and then be slower than the safety car. So we had 12 laps left. I had no idea how long I'd been driving by this point. And I just had to pray that two hours was coming soon. And yes, this is how slow I drove for the entirety of the safety car. But even then I thought that was a little bit too fast. So once the safety car came in, I just sort of took my time of it. I had to sit through this, so you do too. Now there was one minor miscalculation that I made going this slowly during the safety car. But I, uh, I quickly found out what that was. Yeah, I had no grip. At all. But it's fine, with a, uh, with a flashback, we were back to causing after chaos again and potentially killing drivers. So we had seven or eight laps left by this point. We had, what, our fifth safety car, I think? And uh, I was just praying once again. We were close to two hours because I was running out of drivers to take out. But it turns out we didn't need to worry about that because uh, this happens. The, the race just, just ends. While I wasn't even driving. I didn't even win. Do you know who won? I mean, I, I, I think the two hour rule played its part. We didn't really get to experience how it happens while driving because we weren't driving. Um, yeah. What a colossal waste of time.